I'm going to show you how to make a tapered coastal rake effect in ArcGIS Pro. A coastal rake is like those old kind of piratey maps where the water body has horizontal lines coming out from the coast and then they, they kind of taper off to nothing. I'll show you how to do something like that. So in our symbology panel, we'll come into the structure tab, we'll get rid of the stroke altogether, and we're going to add an effect called Donut, one of my favorite effects, as you may know. And in the Donut effect, I like to choose Round and Accurate, and let's make it 5 pixels wide. So what that does is it only retains the 5 uh, perimeter pixels for the fill rendering. Okay. Um, now, let's, instead of giving this a solid fill, give it a hatched fill and see how it's 45 degrees diagonally. Let's make that zero degrees and just see what we get really quickly. It's hard to see because of my color. So let's give it um, one of my favorites, Delft Blue. Give its line something thicker. There you go. Okay, see? That's a getting towards a coastal rake. Now what we need to do is make versions of this that get thinner and thinner as they go farther out to sea. So let's go back to the structure tab and I'm going to duplicate this three times for the sake of illustration. And for each symbol layer I'm going to increase the width a couple pixels and I'm going to decrease the line width so by like uh, half okay and then we'll come here at this one point we'll come here and this will go make this half pixel stroke. So thicker along the edge and it goes farther out to sea and gets stretched thinner and you can see the effect sort of building up here, right? And we'll hit apply. And there you go. That's that. That's how you can make a tapered coastal rake in ArcGIS Pro. Here's a slightly different effect. So let's get rid of these guys. All that work and it's gone. Yes, it is. We'll come here. Uh, let's get rid of the donut effect. So long, donut. Okay, so now we have a bunch of horizontal lines filling our lakes. Let's make this one pixel uh, thickness, and the color will make very semi transparent, like 90%. Apply. Okay. So you can see a faint banding in the lakes here. Now we'll go back, let's duplicate this, and we'll bring back our donut effect. And we'll say you, um, of course, round and accurate. Let's make the donut effect 10 pixels, and apply. Uh, and you can see it's starting to build up here. Let's go a little bit farther, let's make it 15 pixels deep, and then I'm going to duplicate this. Oh, I just deleted it. I hit cancel. Saving myself. I'm going to duplicate this twice. And so I'll make this one only go out 10. I'll make this one only go out 5 pixels. So instead of a thickness effect, we're getting layered opacity effect. Do you see what's going on here? We're getting a little bit more pronounced banding along the coast. And let's just add another couple. Let's see if we can't ratchet this up a little bit. Four, three, and then make this one only go two pixels. Apply. You get this kind of stacked up opacity effect. So there you go, a couple different ways to make tapered coastal rakes. Shoot, why stop now? We're on a roll. 
So if you go to the symbol tab, you can change the color of those uh, hatch lines all wholesale. So let's say I want to make it uh, black. I just say black and hit apply. Oh no, it's all opaque. That's okay. You can get up here and say color properties, bring it back to 90% transparent, hit OK. There you go. Now we've got our effect back, but this time it's black. And you're not stuck with black. I mean, it can be whatever you want. So I'll change this to hue, saturation, value. And I'll just goof around. Now. Find a color that looks good. Poiple. Hit OK. All right. Have fun. It's easy. You can make global changes to all of those symbol layers because they're unlocked. If I were to lock any one of these, they would then not be affected by a change I made over here. Cool, right? Let's make it a little less transparent. Now, I don't have anything against straight lines, but water is pretty wavy sometimes, especially on the Great Lakes. So when I look at this hatch line symbol and it's just a straight line, I think to myself, maybe I can format this line symbol and make it, in fact, wavy. So I'll go to the structure tab, add an effect, and choose wave. Look at that, there's the wave. If I really wanted to tweak it, I could change its height, and its length, and stuff like that. Let's just hit apply. Oh my goodness, something amazing is happening here. Okay, let's go back to all these hatched fills that get closer and closer to the coast, and just do the same thing. I'll select this line symbol, I'll format the line symbol, and give it a wave effect. Cool, right? Now we get the same sort of effect, but instead of a straight line, it's a wavy line, and that's pretty fun. Anyway, give these a shot. Try out your own sort of coastal effects and play with the symbol layer effects available for symbols in ArcGIS Pro. And don't be afraid to just stack up all sorts of amazing symbol layers within the symbology of one layer. Happy mapping.